Hi everyone, it's Roy. I'm in the Treasure Center. Today I'm going to tell you about sterling silver and how to find out if your sterling silver jewelry is real or fake. Uh, there's lots of sterling silver out there. You can find it online, you can find it in stores and different places. Well, I'm going to show you how to tell if you're looking online and buying online how to tell if it's real or fake. And I'm also going to show you if you physically have sterling silver or you're buying it how to check to see if it's real or fake. There's some quick and easy techniques. Now I'm going to tell you most of the time that people online or people selling still silver jewelry is in fact selling silver jewelry. But there are some, especially online, certain things, certain ways that people are selling that the jewelry may appear to be silver. It may even test somewhat silver, but it's not silver jewelry. It's not, it's not sterling silver. Now let's understand what's sterling silver. Sterling silver in the United States is a content, I mean, it's a 925 or 0 0.925. It's 925 parts out of 1,000 parts sterling silver. So let's also not get confused with European silver, which can be stamped with hallmarks, or it may say 800 silver. I mean, there's different markings, but we're going to talk about 925 sterling silver, United States, the most common one that we see. So over here, I'm going to take you, it'll be a little shaky, but I've got a table set up. I've got some silver jewelry already laid out. I've got some items that you're going to need to just use to look at for your silver jewelry. And of course, I got some testing supplies that not everybody has. So let me get the camera set up and uh, we'll start talking about everything here and how to test and how to look for your silver jewelry an easy way. So out in front of me is a display of silver jewelry. Can you tell which one's the fake or real one? It's real hard. Is it these earrings, hoops here, or loops here that are uh, not so shiny is it these real ones that are shiny is it any of these rings that are shiny or dull looking the spoon the over here the the gold colored cross the earrings which one is fake and which one is real i'll tell you right now everything up here is marked 925 sterling silver everything says 925 with the exception of one item and that is the spoon okay the spoon is marked plate um, let's talk about sterling silver and plated and plated sterling silver if you're looking at a ring or jewelry and you see s in front of 925 or sp in front of 925 generally that's silver plate now there is a company that does stamp s925 um, and it is sterling but most of the time s925 is not is not sterling silver it's silver plate so i brought this spoon out here so we can so i could show you and we could test it and show you that it is plated the other items that you're going to need are magnifying glasses a pocket magnifying glass a, a, an eye loop or this kind of eye loop any kind of magnifying glass will work. Now I recommend a magnifying glass of 5x or higher or even eye loops that are that are 10x or higher. So those are things you're going to need to unless you got super good eyes then to look inside your your jewelry. All right. The other thing I have over here on my left is some silver testing solutions and a neutralizer i also have a testing uh, brick or pad and i'll show you how to use that kind of stuff all right so up on during while i'm doing this video up on the screen i'll show you some different items in here that are marked 925 so you can see that they're marked 925 and then that way you'll know exactly which ones I'm talking about and how they're marked. 
Some things that are marked 925 are stamped real clearly and easily. Other ones aren't stamped so much. If you're looking at, let's say this bracelet, okay? On the edges, it'll say, it says 925 and it also says Italy. That's a really good indication that this is probably sterling silver. Another way to look at it is right here on the clasp that mo the movable part of the clasp right here it says 925 sometimes it's on here you got to move it back it'll say 925 or it'll have a hallmark um, other jewelry say you're looking at uh, something like this this one stamped right here on the crossbar for the earrings These kind of earrings here, they stamp 925 on a flat part of this loop. Let's see. Uh, on rings, you want to flip, you want to look on the inside and you can see 925. And sometimes you'll see 925 and a maker's initials or a hallmark. And that's okay. Again, most of the time, sterling silver that you're going to buy online is sterling silver. But, you know, it's not always easy to tell. If you're not sure, don't buy it. If you think that it is sterling silver and it's at a good price, well, get it. And you can always check and see. Just don't spend all your money on something that you don't, that's not worth sterling silver. Okay. Another good item to have is a magnet. Now, this is a rare earth magnet. So it's very strong, but any kind of magnet will work. All right. And I'm going to show you, if you still haven't figured out which ones, which, if you can't haven't figured out yet what's the fake silver and what's the real silver, let's do a magnet test. All right. It doesn't pick up. To show you that this is a magnet, I brought these pair of scissors of steel. And you can see it it picks it up so it didn't pick up on the bracelet it didn't pick up on this necklace let's see well I already told you this is pl uh, silver plated but it's not picking it up huh well so far nothing's picked up Ah, look at that. These got picked up. They're marked, they're marked 925, and they're sticking right to the magnet. That's a good indication. <laughs> that tells you right there that those are not silver. So we know those aren't silver. So I'm going to set these down over here, away from everything else. All right. Can you tell what else might not be silver? Well, I said this was silver plate. It's marked on the back and it says plate special. So we know that that's not silver. Anything else? All right. One thing you want to be careful of when you're, when you're going through is some items will pick up by the clasp. A spring inside sterling silver is not always silver. It may be, it may be uh, something else. So if you're going by a clasp and it picks it up, well, make sure you're pick it's the the clasp and not anywhere else on the markings. Now I just I without you knowing it, I also just fooled you. This one is marked 925 sterling silver. And I don't know if you can see it, I'll show the picture up there, but it says 925 right here. But this is not sterling silver. It's very pretty. Um, it looks it looks like silver, but it's silver plate. And many times, fake silver is made with nickel or copper, and sometimes a zinc. Um, zinc's very lightweight. Copper is heavier like a silver 
So let's just do it that way. If you pick up an item and it's got some weight to it and it's stamped 925 and there's no other markings, it's probably sterling silver. But again, now this is very lightweight. Compared to another necklace in the same size, if I had another one that I know was sterling silver and I was to pick this one up next to it, I could, I could pretty much tell that it wasn't. This one actually came from China. I'm going to tell you, I don't want to badmouth anything from China, all right? So please don't take it that way. However, a lot of silver that comes from foreign countries out of the United States, because we are in the United States, is not real silver they can call it silver they can send it here and we'll buy it but it is not doesn't mean that if you buy something from another country it's not it's not silver but just be careful i bought this online because i had heard about it and i purposely i'm gonna tell you what i bought 10 of these for 50 cents now does that sound right Plus, the, and plus the, I had to pay a, a dollar, I think a dollar fifty shipping. So does it sound right to buy 10 pieces of sterling silver at 50 cents plus a dollar fifty shipping? No, it's not. So watch out for those kinds of items. Okay, everybody. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about real quick was I didn't tell you about the earring here. This uh, is a sterling silver earring on the stem of earrings that you can look at for 925 it's not on here you can look for 925 it's generally on the stem or on the backing itself it'll say 925 so that's another thing you want to look for if you're looking for silver jewelry um, so I forgot to point that out the other thing is this like this cross here is gold colored Okay, and I don't know how well that's showing up in the light, but it's gold colored. It's not silver colored, but it is 925. It's tested. Uh, it's also got the maker's hallmark on there. So um, that's something else that you want to look for. Now, what I was telling you about uh, sterling silver, when I said you want to look for uh, marks inside of uh, sterling silver, and you want to make sure that it says 925 and I said sometimes it says S925 the one I was referring to was Scandinavian silver is marked S925 um, most other Chinese jewelry that ha that's fake silver will see a 925 and be coated uh, sterling silver coating or it'll say S925 so don't get confused with Scandinavian 925 so just understand that most S925 is meaning silver plate. Okay, I told you about taking a piece of jewelry or taking something and putting a magnet test to it and it doesn't pick it up. Well, in a spoon, um, spoons are generally usually silver plate over a, a copper or a brass. It's not, you know, it's it looks silver. It's going to tarnish like silver, but it's plated. And as you can see, I did a acid test on here and uh, it kind of burned into the uh, the silver plate burned through it and I'll show you the acid testing here in a little bit um, what else did I got oh I did have one of these I did take one of these necklaces I was telling you about this from China and I broke it apart and I ground a um, again you probably can't see it real well but I, I broke it apart I ground it down a little bit and it's still shiny a little bit inside there uh, here I here's where I ground it at it's kind of got a yellowish tint to it so that's probably telling me this is a mixture of a copper and nickel copper zinc so that's why it doesn't that's why it doesn't pick up with the magnet okay certain metals gold and silver won't pick up with a magnet but aluminum or brass or nickel they won't pick up with a magnet either but uh generally again like i said unless it's silver plate or marked that's how you can tell the other thing is the weight is like i said a weight test you know you pick up silver it should have a little weight um, a lot of fake fake silver is made with copper which doesn't pick up with a magnet and it has almost the same similar weights to it that uh, silver does 
All right. So let's uh, let me show you. Let me show you on this testing block some ideas with some silver. Okay. Um, and I don't know how well you'll see it, so I'll try to bring it up to you and show you. But let's take let's take something we know I know is silver. If you ever use, I guess let me tell you about the warnings. First of all, I have a silver testing solution. Generally, it's nitric acid or something, the silver silver testing solution. I also use an 18 karat gold testing solution. Um, and I do keep an acid neutralizer with me close by so it kind of neutralizes the acid. Always be careful of using any kind of solutions or anything if you're going to test your jewelry. Always do it in an inconspicuous spot. Um, if you're going to test something that's say like this you don't want to just pour it on there you need to break through a seal to make sure it's just not plated so get you a little file or something and go to an innocent to an inconspicuous area maybe the back of something or the very e very edge where you, you won't where you won't see it so you won't ruin your piece that you're trying that you're testing um, if you're doing it on jewelry uh, again a real inconspicuous area that if you're going to test your jewelry, it's not going to show up and you're not going to ruin the piece. All right. For this one, I'm using the very edge of these links over here. And let me let me show you real quick. I'm going to scratch this block. And I scratch it really good because, like I said, you want to get through any kind of coating. But I don't want to go deep. I didn't ruin it. I didn't ruin it. All right. And I don't know if you, if how well you're going to see it, but there is a little silver shine to it. Okay. And, well, let's just use this. Let's go ahead and take the edge of this. And I'm going to have to rub it real hard to try to get through the, to get through the coating. All right. And okay, it's got through the coating. Now again, they're both shiny, and I don't know how well you can see it, but I hope you can see it pretty good. But if you look, the silver is still a bright shiny, but once I got past the coating, it started to give almost like a coppery tint to it. Well, that tells me there's something to watch out right there that it may not be silver. Now when you use a silver solution if you take the silver solution and you put it on silver and let it sit for a second you can see that silver disappear okay now if I put on this fake silver that little mark disappears let me get a little towel here and I'll, I'll try to I'm trying not to wipe this whole thing, but let me just soak that up a little bit. There you go. See it? The silver disappeared and that little marking go disappear. So you think, okay, well, that might be silver. But understand a silver solution can also erase certain other elements like a copper or a different thing. They'll also a good nitric solution will turn a color. If you see a if you see a green or a red or, or if you or a red that's an indication that it's not silver all right now let me use this 18 karat gold solution and let me show you if you can see it i put it on there and i put it on there now i hope you can see this if you can't well i'll try to do my best to explain it to you but if you can see it the silver got a really nice pretty blue and this other one is supposed to be silver well it kind of ate it away it didn't do anything it just kind of disappeared but this one has a really nice bluish color to it and i hope you can see it so that's why a lot of times i use the 18 karat solution if you let it sit long enough it turns to a it turns to that milky white now it's kind of showing a little bit better so you might be able to see it but that sterling silver turns to a, a goes from a blue to that milky white that's a good indication that that's silver. So let me get this wiped up, and cleaned up. All right, I'm gonna flip this over. 
So let's do a let's do another test. Um, let's do the. Uh, oh, let's see. Well, let's just do this one. Okay, here's a little silver pendant. I'm right on the edge. I don't want to destroy the pr uh, prenus. It's marked 925. Okay. It scratches out nice and silvery. All right, we put the silver liquid on it. It took it, 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 took it away really quick. So it just wipes right off. All right. We'll add the 18 karat gold solution to it. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. That It's got that pretty blue. And if we let it sit there for a minute, just serve a little bit longer, it starts turning to a milky white and it starts lifting it off this testing block. So we know, so that's a good, so I know that's silver. All right. So when you're looking for your items, make sure that they're marked. This one says Italy 925. I got different places that's telling me it's 925. I've got tarnishing, it's a good indication. I've got weight and also the magnet doesn't pick it up. So that tells me that's a good indication. Everything I see right there, that's silver. All right. Here I've got a nice, really bright, shiny ring with no tarnishing. It's stamped 925. It doesn't pick up with a magnet. Okay. Um, so just without testing that one, I, I would I would buy that and say that's 925 if I was at a garage sale or flea market or looking online I would say that that's 925 the weight it sounds good um, so that's the things to look at all right everybody I hope that this video helps out a little bit gives you a little indication of what to look for when you're trying to buy sterling silver whether it's at a garage sale a flea market a thrift shop at a regular store or online uh, remember this was for 925 silver uh, European silver you're gonna have hallmarks on it um, there's a ton of different hallmarks that you can have so you can also have it's gonna it's usually marked it says like 800 silver or something higher um, those are usually indicates of European silver so don't get confused with that either but this video was for 925 sterling silver and I wanted to help you out and try to show you the differences of what to look for. So if you like my channel, thanks for watching. I hope you come back more often to see more videos we're going to have. I'm going to try to make another video that explains and talks about how to look for gold. Uh, the different kinds of gold jewelry there are and what to, what to find for, for, for 10 karat, 14 karat, 18. Uh, I'm just... You know, I'm just going to try to explain all about the different kinds of golds and again what to look for. So thanks for watching and have a great day.